Many Sundays you will find Paul Ringering here at Prince of Peace walking down the food line. This food is not for his journey, but what comes along with his action certainly is. The, the serving part is important not only because we're called to do it, but it's important uh, especially with our, with our kids to make sure that we stay grounded in today's world and continuing to feed folks and kind of get out of our bubble a little bit that there's other folks throughout the city of Birmingham. Ringering Ring and his family started volunteering at Prince of Peace in 2011, feeding the homeless. It has now grown into a regular activity for their family. Uh, we're real fortunate that Prince of Peace has partnered with Food for Our Journey and uh, every other Sunday we're able to come down, prepare hot meals, put them together, help load up the truck uh, for Food for Our Journey to go down and feed the folks in the, in the different areas of downtown. Prince of Peace parishioner Kelly Green started this unique food truck in 2020 and served about 160,000 meals that year. They provide nourishment not only to the bodies of those in need, but also to the souls of those who volunteer. Serving for Food for the Journey helps put things in perspective and helps you see how grateful you need to be. And when you see how much or how little others have, it just makes you be more grateful for what you have each and every day. That gratitude will take the Ringering family far on their journey, the journey of delivering meals to the hungry and putting God's love into action.
Holy Mass for the peaceful repose of the soul of Michael Makati. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, you take away the, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Receive, receive our prayer. You are yes, seated at the right hand of the Father. Have, have mercy on us. For you alone, alone are the Holy One. one. You alone, alone are the Lord. Lord. You alone, alone are the Most, the Most High, High, Jesus Christ, Christ with, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit in the glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the crippled men who had been cured clung to Peter and John, all the people hurried in amazement towards them in the portico called Solomon's portico. When Peter saw this, he addressed his people. You, children of Israel, why are you amazed at this? And why do you look so intently at us as if we had made him walk by our own power or piety. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, and the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One, and ask that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And by faith of his name, this man whom you see and know, his name has made strong, and the faith that comes through it has given him this perfect health in the presence of all of you. Now I know, brothers and sisters, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. 
But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, and that the Lord may grant your times of refreshment and send you the Christ already appointed for you, Jesus, whom heaven must receive until the times of universal restoration of which God spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. For Moses said, a prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen in all that he may say to you. Everyone who does not listen to that prophet will be cut off from the people. Moreover, all the prophets who spoke from Samuel and those afterwards also denounced these days. You are the children of the prophets and of the covenant that God made with your ancestors when he said to Abraham, if your offspring, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. For you first God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning each of you from your evil ways. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord, our God, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you shall care for him? O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. You have made him little less than angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, yes, the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims in the paths of the seas. O Lord, our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples of Jesus recounted what they had t- taken place along the way and how they had come to recognize him in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, He showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you that everything written about me 
in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends in Christ, today we pick up again from where we left the gospel reading of yesterday. The two disciples who had experienced Jesus on the road to Emmaus now come to join the other disciples in Jerusalem. We are told that while they were still talking about how they recognized Jesus Christ at the breaking of bread, Christ appeared in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified, thinking it was a ghost. Though they had been witnesses of what had happened, they still could not grasp the fact of the resurrection. The resurrection was something way out of their imagination. It was only through God's grace that they could come to terms with what they were experiencing. The words of Jesus, peace be with you, is characteristic of Jesus' opening greeting after the resurrection to his disciples each time he appeared to them. These words Jesus used to reassure them of his presence and of the fact that God is in control of every situation. These words also stood in contradistinction to their fearfulness, alarm, anxiety, and lack of trust or confidence. In the gospel text of this morning, Jesus asked them in a reassuring manner, why are you agitated? And why are these doubts rising in your hearts? And then he showed them his sign and his feet. Indeed, the joy was so great that they still could not believe. It was too good to be true. Yet it was. Jesus had truly risen as he said. The peace Christ gives the disciples is the peace that the world cannot give and cannot take away. We are all searching for that peace in one way or another. Peace at home, peace at work, in school, in our country, in our neighborhood, and you can continue the list. But truth be told, peace is an inside job. Peace begins from the heart wherein God dwells. One who has such inner peace is undisturbed by the changes in the world around him or her. When the boat faces a great storm of life, we are confident that Christ is present as he was when the boat of his disciples encountered the severe storm in Mark chapter 4 verse 35 to 41. The peace of Jesus is the, is the post-resurrection gift from the Father to his disciples and to us. The same peace we have received from Christ, we are mandated to bring into the world. Peace therefore is seen as that which we have gained from the resurrection of Jesus Christ. This peace has come to us through the forgiveness of our sins in the name of the risen Christ. It is the peace of being reconciled to God. 
a peace of friendship with God, a peace that drives out man's greatest fear, which is the fear of death. It is that peace which gives you a sense of everything is under control. It is not a peace built on physical calm or a complete absence of pain and trial, but a peace that stays calm and undisturbed even when the boat rocks, for it is assured of the abiding presence of the risen Lord. It is that peace which faces sickness, pain, all sorts of, of trials, and even death with a smile. For it is sure of the fact that pain, suffering, and death no longer have the last word. The risen Lord has. May the resurrection of Christ that we celebrate bring us this same peace that Jesus, the risen Christ, brought to his disciples such that we can always know and trust in the fact that he, Christ, who is God, has everything under control. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, filled with Paschal joy, let us pray more earnestly with God as we turn to him with our needs. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis and the leaders of the church, may they be filled with the spirit of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For civil leaders, May they be filled with a sense of justice and compassion in their service to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are marginalized or denied the opportunities to use their God-given talents, may they find hope in the example and promise of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all peacemakers, May they be strengthened in their efforts to bring God's love and harmony into our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For farmers, that timely rains and warm sunshine may assist their efforts to bring forth the fruits of the earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, May the Lord welcome them to paradise. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We turn to our Mother Mary who remained calm in every situation which Jesus went through and call for our intercession as we pray. Hail, Hail Mary, Mary, the Lord grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed, blessed art thou among women, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy, thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother of God, God pray, pray for, for us sinners, now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Incline your ears to the prayers made by your people and grant them what they ask you through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Steadfast 
lost love, living charity. God will dwell with you. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help from heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but above all, in this time, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalting your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. O Zion in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat, eat this bread, bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. In the love of Christ and in the spirit of the resurrection, let us with the wave offer each other a sign of Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus Christ, who reassures us with his word, peace be with you, to say everything is under control. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The last day I shall rise again 
shall be remade like God. My home shall be by God's own side, the dying, rising Lord. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. I know that my Redeemer lives, that I shall rise again. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Over the mountains and the sea, my river runs with love for me, and I will open up my let the healer set me free I'm happy to be in the truth And I will daily lift my hands For I will always sing of when your love came down I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever I could sing 